Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this very simple and interesting animation that you can use for New Year and Christmas presentation. So, I am Vikash for SkylineMotions.com and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so let's start by creating a new composition. So click on this new composition and this is going to be our main composition. So let's call it main and set it 1920 by 1080 and let's go with 30 or 60 frame per second. So I'm going to go with 30 frame per second and duration make it 3 second long, which is good enough for now and hit OK. And now I'm going to import an image file. So just go to this project window, right click on that, go to import file and select this .png file that I have created in Photoshop and I have given a link in the description. So go to the link and download this .png file and click on import. And just drag this .png file into this main composition and right click on that, click on rename and let's call it one and hit enter. And now I'm going to create multiple copy of this .png file. So just select this, hit control D 15 time and create 15 copy of this. Just like that. And just set it like this. And now let's convert all these layers into 3D. So click on this toggle switches and turn on 3D button. And select all these layer hit P on the keyboard to open this position property. And now I'm going to create a distance between each image in G space. So select this dot one and set this Z value zero and just select this second dot and set this Z value 300 hit enter and repeat same thing and create a gap of 300 value. So select this third one and set it 600 set this value 900 and repeat same thing so i'm going to do this in fast forward all right so it's done and now select all layer and hit u on the keyboard to close this layer and now right click on this layer and click on this pre-compose and check this option move all attributes and let's call it led and hit ok now click on this button and make this layer 3d and after that let's create a camera so just go to layer new camera and hit ok and now i'm going to create a camera control so just go to layer again go to new and take a null object and this is going to be our camera control so right click on this null object click on rename and let's call it camera control hit ok and now select this camera and pick this pick whip and attach this camera with this camera control all right and after that let's animate the camera so select this camera control go to the end of this animation hit p on the keyboard click on this 3d button and make this camera control 3d and let's animate this z value so just set this z position value 150 and make it like this and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position property and go to very beginning of this animation and set this position value something around 3000 and hit enter and as you can see, we have a very basic animation. So select these both keyframes, hit F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and go to your graph editor. If your graph editor not looking like this, then right click on this and check this option, edit a speed graph. All right. And select this point and hold this handle and just drag it like this and hold this handle also and create a nice smooth curve and close this graph editor and go to the very beginning of this animation and let's have a look. And as you can see, we have something like this. 
all right and after that let's close this camera control and now i'm going to create a duplicate of this led layer so hit ctrl d to duplicate and select this bottom layer hit t on the keyboard to open this opacity and uh, set this opacity something around 10 percent and hit enter all right and now i'm going to create a black background so let's go to layer new and take a new solid layer and make it pure black hit ok and let's call it busy for background hit ok and just drag this background and place it below this led layer and now i'm going to create animated matte layer so just go to layer new and take a new solid layer and make it pure white and let's call it matte hit ok and now select this ellipse tool and set this cursor in center and hold left mouse button hold ctrl shift alt and create an ellipse just like that and now let's create one more so select this mat and uh, and create one more circular mask just like that and now i'm going to subtract this smaller ellipse from the bigger one so select this mask too and change this add to subtract and select this layer hit m two time on the keyboard to open this mask property select these both mask and set this mask feather something around 60 and hit enter and we get this type of output all right and now let's minimize this and now i'm going to animate this matte layer so go to very beginning of this animation hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's scale it down a bit and set this value something around 50 hit enter and now let's animate the scale property so click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale and go to on one second and let's increase the size of this and just set it like this and set this scale value something around 200 percent and hit enter go to one frame forward in time set this value 50 percent and hit enter and now go to one second forward in time and set this value 200 percent and go to one frame forward in time and set this value 50 percent and hit enter and finally go to the end of this animation set this value 200 percent and hit enter all right and now turn off this outline and we get this type of animation and now i'm gonna use this mat as a mask for this second led layer so just drag this mat over on this led layer and click on this toggle switches and now select this led and go to this track mat option and uh, change this to alpha mat and we get this type of output as you can see and after that let's create a text so select this text tool go to this character and in this case i'm using this prestige signature font style and i'm going to set the size value 300 pixel and let's type a text whatever you want to type and select this text layer and place it over on this matte layer just like that and go to align and click on this align horizontally click on this align vertically and now i'm going to set this uh, anchor point in the center of this text so select this pan behind tool and set this anchor point in the center of this text make sure your snapping is turned on and select this move tool and click on this toggle switches and turn on this 3d button all right and go to the end of this animation and uh, hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and let's set this position something around 500 hit enter and as you can see it's looking like this all right and we get this type of output and after that i'm going to add a glow effect so just go to layer new and take a new adjustment layer and right click on that rename and let's call it glow 
and go to effect in preset and search for glow and let's apply this glow effect on this glow layer and let's do some setting so set this glow radius something around 50 percent and it's looking like this and after that i'm going to create a light leak effect so we have to take a solid layer so go to layer new and take a new solid layer and this is going to be our light leak so let's call it light leak hit ok and go to effect and preset and search for noise and let's apply this fractal noise on this uh, light leak layer and let's do some adjustment so just set this contrast 100 set this brightness value negative 50 maybe and uh, set this complexity one hit enter and open this transform and set this scale value something around 1200 and hit enter and we get this type of output and now i'm going to animate this uh, evaluation so go to the end of this animation and uh, set this rotation value to hit enter click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on evaluation and go to very beginning of this animation and uh, set this value zero and make it default and now click on this toggle switches and let's change the blending mode so select this light leak and change this blending mode to a screen mode and we get something like that and after that i'm going to add some colors so we have to take a new adjustment layer so go to layer new and take a new adjustment layer and this is going to be our color so right click on this rename and let's call it color and go to effect and preset and search for hue and saturation effect and let's apply this hue and saturation on this color and check this option colorize and set this colorize saturation 100 hit enter and let's pick a nice color so i'm gonna set this uh, 340 hit enter and let's animate this colorize hue also so go to the end of this animation and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on colorize hue and uh, go to the center of this uh, timeline over here and again let's change this color and set this value something around 270 hit enter go to very beginning of this animation and uh, set this value 325 and hit enter all right and we get this type of output as you can see all right and after that i'm going to add a lens flare effect so just go to project window and i'm going to use a lens flare file so right click on this project window go to import file and uh, select this flare that i have given a link in the description so go to the link and download this flare file and click on import and just drag this flare on this uh, main composition and hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's scale it up something around 200 percent and uh, let's flip this so right click on this layer go to transform and click on this option flip horizontally hold shift on the keyboard and just drag it like this something like that all right and now i'm going to make this a black background transparent so minimize this and select this lens flare file and change this normal to a screen and finally i'm going to create a cinematic aspect ratio so we have to take a new solid layer so just go to layer new and take a new solid layer and make it pure black and let's call it black hit ok now i'm gonna add a rectangular mask with this so select this layer and select this rectangle tool hold control and double click on this rectangle tool to add a rectangular mask turn on this uh, outline and select these control point hold shift on the keyboard and press down arrow key three time 
and set it like this and select these two control point also hold shift and press up arrow key three time and make it like this and now check this option inward and we get something like this and turn off this outline and close this layer and as you can see it's almost done so let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye